Down the stretch they come. Just seven matches left for Portland Timbers 2 in the USL regular season. And T2's push to the playoffs starts tonight at Merlot Field against the Oklahoma City Energy. Times for the Timbers first team this season. Corner falls dangerously. Shouts for a handball, none given. Duke has a chance to line up a second ball into the box. Picks out top. Chipped into the back post, and there's the opener. Who else? Danny Koenig, now USL's leading scorer, his 17th goal on the season, and it's 1-0 OKC. Okay, comes back into a tie with Pittsburgh's Rob Vincent, who scored earlier tonight against Toronto FC2 to get his okay. 17th goal. Well, Cone Van Comprenol couldn't get it through to Duke, but still there for OKC. Evans, this one does find Christian Duke. Beautiful cross, and Greg finishes for the second for OKC. Christian Duke, first time cross on a 50 yard ball. Played it right into the platter, right on a platter. For Kyle Gregg, his sixth goal of the season and now a two nothing hole for Portland Timbers too. It's a fantastic cross from Christian Duke. I mean, caught. Anthony Manning at least off guard, thinking that Duke would take a touch. Into the box, takes an odd bounce. Top, great save by Gleason. Out of nowhere, the ball bounced to Peter Toth, and Gleason had to react quickly. And there's the third, a mess in the box. And it's all going wrong for T2. Danny Koenig's 18th goal this season. And a match that started out looking promising for T2, like either team could find the first goal, has now gone oh so wrong for the home side. 3-0 in the 31st. Poor clearance from Taylor Pay. He'll know that okay, he'll certainly feel like he wishes he did better. Townsend looking for Greg. He turns, shoots, Gleason makes the save, and it's put back in. The fourth for OKC, a hat trick for Danny Koenig. And a tough night at Merlot Field. Continues to get worse for T2. Gleason made the great save, but put it right into the path of Koenig. Good goal scorers always seem to be in the right place. None of his finishes tonight were particularly they're with the first team on a regular basis. So this group that's on the field right now doesn't necessarily train together every day. And it can obviously be challenging when they come to play on game day. George Foshive, a first teamer. Great comeback, and he pulls one back. George Foshive, his third goal for T2. The defensive midfielder has shown a goal scoring touch at this level. Something to feel good about as we head to halftime. Still a 4-1 lead for OKC. Second straight game that Foshive has scored. And that essentially the final touch of the first half as Ekaterina Koroleva, the referee, blows for the end of the first half. Nice way to end the first half. For and then immediately retired to become the first ever head coach for OKC Energy. 2012 MLS Goalkeeper of the Year and clearly having success in his second career 
as head coach of OKC Energy. Has them in fourth place in playoff position. Foshibe trying to get another one back, and he does! Watch out now, 23 seconds into the second half, and it's four to two. George Foshibe once again. Maybe a position switch in store for George Foshive. <laughs> Fatal for Nanchoff. Can he get behind Hedrick? Cuts it back now with Seaton. A chance for his first for Portland. Michael Seaton pulls one back. T2's not out. In the 79. That's how you debut the 19 year olds two days ago acquired in a trade and a nutmeg of Evan Newton. A clinical finish from Michaels. What a match at Merlot Field. It was entertaining from the opening kick. Seven goals scored, the first four by OKC. The last three by T2. The comeback effort comes up short, but we're certainly entertained.